the CEO of Quieton, and we are a startup. We're a generator company. We're proud to say that. Uh, we came to Startup Weekend because we love Startup Weekend, and I said, if we're going to go there, we're going to work on something for us. Um, that's kind of selfish of us. But we have some projects that we just don't have time to do because we're busy, and uh, that's what we built this weekend. So we started talking to uh, hospitals a while ago, and they're a bigger doctor of our product. And in, in talking to them, we discovered that they have some pains that we can solve because we're a sensor platform. Uh, one of the conversations we had said there was nurses, somebody's not changing my slides, so I guess I'm just going here on my own. But anyway, we were talking to nurses and nurses said they spent about a half hour of each shift just walking around looking for product, um, equipment that they need. And this obviously uh, has a health effect on patients who are waiting for this, this equipment to help them. And it, it's really not productive. So it costs them a ton of money. Their solution presently is to buy a lot more equipment and have it laying around. They still look for about a half hour each day. So that's the result of that. What does this cost them? It's about $3.6 billion just in missing equipment that's sitting somewhere in the hospital. So we thought, what if we could track this with the, with the existing routers that we have without doing much except hacking some hardware that we have. So that's what we did. We took and we built this ugly mess, which uh, links to our existing system and tells me within, say, the size of a room where I'm located. So now when you're looking for that heart monitor, you can just hit a button and find which room it's in. You can walk in and see it's right there and grab it and go do your work. So that's the solution we built. What does that do? It does all these great things. Okay, you can imagine how much easier it is if you can just push a button and find what you need in a large, sprawling facility. So ultimately, we want to get to this size. And uh, we, can, we can do that, but we can't do that during startup weekend. So if you want to pass that around, that's what we'll be attaching to devices. What that will allow us to do is use the existing QuietTime network to locate the device and we associate it with a name, a piece of equipment, you search that, shows you exactly where it is. And Drew doesn't like me telling people this, but I feel that we can even tell you if it's in operation or not, likely. And by doing that, you can go right to one that's available, get it to where it needs to be. So how do we make money with this? Well, on our existing system, all they have to do is buy a small piece of hardware, which they're passing around, about $15 maybe, that's capital expense. And then at $2 a month, we're making about $2 a month. Um, we feel that we can raise that quite a bit higher as they begin to realize the savings on that $3.6 billion number. So we can probably get more than $2 per month per item. But um, we have these people doing pilots for us with the quiet time system, and they have expressed interest in doing a pilot with this too. So we will deploy this product as soon as possible and test it out. And uh, we will only market it along with our existing product um, because that has to be in place. So that's quiet time. Um, I think we have a team slide here. Um, I'm the founder. Uh, Drew Hart there is a co-founder. Jonathan Narwald worked from Virginia. He was on a uh, honeymoon and he kind of helped with the code in between whatever he's doing on his honeymoon. And uh, Jeff came down from Grand Med. Um, they're one of our partners, equity partners. <laughs> the code might be a little shaky. Um, Jeff is our C programmer. He did most of the work here uh, as far as hacking our hardware. And we have 38 seconds. So I will say that Nick Blair did the, the design and that's why that thing is beautiful. And we take questions. Thank you. Thank you for two minutes. Go for it. Uh, I would think this is a problem that's not specific to healthcare. That's correct. We serve healthcare, hospitality, and apartments. We've talked to all three markets, all three of them well. In um, residential apartments, they want to know where their maintenance man and if he went to a, a thing, how long he was there, we can tell you all that. In hospitality, they have uh, housekeeping that goes around, and when they're in a room, when they're out of the room, we can probably indicate that that room is clean. Uh, so there's a number of things there, um, any sort of asset that you can put a tag on. Um, since it tracks asset, we really considered calling it ass tracker, because we can track people too. <laughs> Drew shot that down, he said that was, oh. Actually, if he goes back to the logo, it, it alludes to that fact. <laughs> yes? So RFID tracking in high-value engineering companies is not new. So who, who, would be, who would you be competing with in this space? So there are people doing this, so we know there's a market for it. The thing is, they deploy a system that costs whatever it costs to deploy the entire system. All we need to do is add to our existing system. So if you look right here, there's a small device. There's one in the back of the room. 
And this, this is saying that I'm in the front of the room. That's because this is linked to that. So if you think of that as a router, and this is a small computer, when this joins the network, the closest router is where I'm standing. That's as simple as it is. There's no RFID or any other magic to this. And that's why it's like, we can do this. this. This is a super simple thing to do. And we can have an entirely new product line that's like an entire industry in one weekend. And we did that, so thank you, Startup Weekend. You don't get any credit beyond this. <laughs> um, Tile, as far as I know, is like a personal locating tracking system. So you can do this at an enterprise level. You can do this, if you, if you have five hospitals, from one dashboard you can manage all five hospitals. So just think of unifying Tile into one giant corporate room level. So there are some that are so accurate, you can tell me, I can tell you exactly which corner of the room it's in. Big deal. I, if you tell me it's in the room, I'll find it. It's not, we're not tracking little tiny things. We're tracking big pieces of equipment and humans. So, Are there medical equipment manufacturers that are embedding this right now in their equipment? Not that I'm aware of. Um, everything, everything is a stick-on kind of device, and they use you know, RFID. They use numerous technologies, but they have to deploy an entire network. Our network does something else. We get paid for that. So to add this to the system is next to nothing. It's, it's uh, you know, pennies, pennies a day to track your assets and save 3.6 million bucks. When you're tra tracking people, do you track it via uh, an app on the phone, or do they carry? Uh, we'd stick one of those, too. Yep. And then from any, it's, it's internet enabled, so you, from any dashboard, you can look it up. Uh, we're looking to integrate with some of the hospital systems, but that's down the road. We can't do that in the weekend, either. Yeah. So you're already chasing a certain proposition with your customers. Why do you want to chase another one? I like money, <laughs> and it, it, it's so easy. So we're not we're not going to go sell this all on its own. After we've sold you Quieton, uh, which is what we do, we're going to say, oh, by the way, that other system you were looking at, we can do it for a fraction of the cost, and we make we make a lot of money by doing it because the the hardware is already deployed. Well, that's all we got. Thank you. Thank you.